Okay, so uh, here's probably one of the most surprising picks of the draft. Top 10 running back taken. This has gone either way quite a few times. We have Leonard Fournette, who's had moments, but, you know, hasn't really lived up to where he was drafted. Christian McCaffrey has lived up. Saquon Barkley, when he's been healthy, yeah. has lived up. Is B. John Robinson going to be the bell or the bust of the ball? Not, not in Atlanta. <laughs> Really? Certainly not in Atlanta. This was Atlanta. This is the Atlanta Falcons doing Atlanta Falcons things, man. You, you want to know why you're twenty? Why why we talk about twenty eight three? It's moments like this. Yeah, yeah. It, I, I look, Bijan Robinson, great player. Love the player. I hate the pick. I mean, you just drafted a, a running back in the later rounds last year. In uh, Tyler, how do you say his last name? All 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 year. All year. Went over 1,000 yards. Atlanta had a good rushing offense last year. I feel like they didn't need to do this. I feel like it was it was, it was was early. I feel like there was no reason to do this, honestly. CJ, it's, it's like you say. A, a, a first-round running back is the, is the cherry, on top, a cherry on top of the ice cream sundae. The, there's no ice cream in Atlanta's bowl. None. <laughs> there's You're no, right. There, it's, like, it's just a, it's like they haven't even – like do they even have a bowl to fill yet is my question. There were so many other things they needed – they need to fill. And they're like, you know what? We're going to go get that cherry first. Then we're going to dump need a quarterback. ice cream into the I bowl know. after that. You had a top 10 pick and you could have probably got Lamar Jackson <laughs> like a month ago. You could have put your face in there and said, hey, here, top 10 pick. Here you go. All right, well, this wouldn't be Football Scout 365 content if I didn't step in here and uh, defend the running back position's honor. Oh, my God. No, I love, Let, I love the run. run second now, hold on. Like, Don't put me in that category. Wait, wait, hold on. Time Don't out. Categorize we, me. Can, can I, I want to I be say, very clear here, all right, viewers. We all love the running back position. Just not as much as Woody. He likes mouth hugs on the running back position. And tongue. But uh, he's John Robinson. Here's why I think there is, once again, fit is so important. If you look at Arthur Smith's past success, this dude, specifically in his offense, likes big, physical athletes and special athletes, like guys that really jump off the charts. So B. John Robinson and Tyler Algier, if you look at his most successful moments in Tennessee is when they had that power running game. And if we look, he started using – there's some real potential here out of the backfield. If you line up B. John Robinson and Cordell Patterson in the same backfield, that really like on a, on a run option or it opens up a lot of really fun out of the backfield plays and weapons, especially for a young quarterback like Desmond Ritter. That they're gonna need to, you know, check down a lot, most likely, especially with their line. Now, did they take him really high? Yes. But do I think that this makes their offense better and it's a good fit? Totally. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's it's the best running, it's the best running back in the draft. Obviously, you, knew you had to take him to get him. Woody, you and Arthur Smith are both still living in the 90s. Seriously, man. I, I don't know. We saw we've been seeing that fullback position. Used a lot in some great offenses. Like, look what, look how the Rams used Skronsky last year when Cooper Cup went out out of the backfield. He started putting up great numbers for the Rams. He made the Rams offense like viable when they didn't have Cooper Cup. They didn't have Matthew Stafford. It yeah, was they it, even made the playoffs, right? They played a lot tougher at the end of the year, did they not? Did they not? I wasn't watching the Rams at the end of the year, buddy. Well, you know, some of us are fans and some of us are. Uh... I mean, you <laughs> could have, you could like. If you really wanted a running back, go get. You could have signed Deonta Foreman in a in 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 the off season. Like there are plenty of running backs. There are plenty of opportunities to go get a running back that you're gonna get similar production from. Where you're you're gonna draft Bijan Robinson here. He's gonna be no good to anyone in five years. I'm sad that I'm sad Bro, that. Have you seen Atlanta's offensive line? Yeah, he's just gonna That's... get. He's gonna get beat the crap out of. I'm just sad I don't get to see Justin Fields with Bijan. And if Atlanta would have done the right thing Bro. a couple of years ago, if they oh. would have did the right thing a couple of years ago, they'd already have Justin Fields great in take. place. And then they could have had Bijan with him. Hey. But they suck at Brandon, whatever they're trying good, to do. Good call. 